Hey guys, Adam here from Board at Home. You may have seen our video earlier today where we showed you the delivery of Dungeons and Lasers. We're now going to take this time to have a further closer look at exactly what is inside. So we're going to unbox all of this stuff just to show you we do have more boxes behind here that we will be opening up one by one. So we are going to start not with these small ones. We are going to start with the Swamps of Doom. So let's crack into this and begin our adventures into a whole new world of role playing. So we've got the Swamps of Doom here. So these are uh, all sort of like multi part kits. Some uh, assembly will be required on some pieces. So we'll start here. We've got the uh, sort of like weeds, the mangroves, whatever that uh, you want that to be there. Uh, we've got the boat here. Looks very cool. Uh, the pier. A uh, bit of scenery here. We've got this large dead fish. Uh, lots of other like... Uh, scenery and bits and pieces on there and then in the bottom here we've got uh, a load of trees I think there's like six trees in here in total yeah so that is everything from our first box obviously a bit of assembly required uh, a bit of um, painting definitely needed for these but that is the Swamps of Doom. Let's just get those out of the way. Our next box, the Lands of the Giants terrain set. So we get a lot more stuff in here. We've got columns uh, and debris in there. Uh, same there as well. In fact, we've got a whole box of columns in here. Statues as well. That's really, really cool there. A lovely runic script on the columns. And we've got a whole bunch of these as well. And then over on this side, we've got more of that chapel. Oh, very cool. Like Atlas uh, from the uh, Greek myths there. Very, very cool stuff indeed. So now we get into all of the minis themselves. So we've got the miniature, uh, the creatures pack here, and then we've got a few of these stretch goal boxes, uh, three of those in total. So let's start on these creatures first. So a whole variety of them in here, and again will require some assembly. There we go, so that is uh, the uh, tree. We've got the dragon there, the wyvern. This one we've got the like, swamp monster thing. Very cool. Is that a manticore? Couple more bases here. Uh, looks like we've got some spiders. Yep. Uh, it's all a bit hard to tell when it's all just the grey plastic, but so we've got a lot of very, very cool stuff here. So much stuff. Uh, we're going to have fun putting all this together at the painting clubs, I'll tell you that much. There we have a load of bases in there as well. 
Uh, lovely textured bases as well, actually. Really, really nice. And then a last sprue of miniatures here with some of like, the fungus people and stuff on them. Awesome. We're certainly going to have our work cut out at the uh, weekly painting club. But I'm looking forward to seeing all of these come together. So here we are, halfway through the boxes. Let's bring these a little bit further forward. So we've got our stretch goals now, uh, which almost equals what we've had so far in just the normal boxes in the campaign. So this one is Terrain and Miniatures set. So let's begin. So again, we've got loads more awesome textured bases. There we go, got a lot of terrain here. Looks like a lot of this stuff just snaps out. A little bit of glue, fantastic stuff. Uh, some awesome little huts here. So I do love the detail on these, they're absolutely amazing. What have we got? We've got some spiders here, it looks like. Oh, look at that face, that's rather gruesome and awesome. <laughs> uh, we've got some ethereal bits here, uh, some like doorways and the like. Awesome. <laughs> A little rowboat, very cool. So like we've got part of an ogre here, a troll, a uh, couple of them, a little hellhound to Cerberus. Uh, some statues here, looks like we've got some gallows as well, is that gallows? Um, certainly something on a pulley anyway. And then this last bit here with some kind of like altar and things on it. So let's put all of this back in. There we go, so we're going to go to Super Stretch Goals Box 1 of 2. Uh, just as a reminder, this is the stuff that is giving us in here. Okay, so we've got the first part of the tree. Oh, this is our horse and cart. Very, very cool. Uh, Igrid the Giant. That is a massive miniature. That looks so cool. We've got the tower here and the sort of like Viking Saxon hut as well. So that's more bits for it. Uh, we've got the ethereal great tree and the dwarven cave entrance. Oh, it's going to be so much fun putting all of this together with you guys. So it's going to be a fair task as well, but it's going to look so cool when it is finally all done. So we are on to our final box before we take a look at the couple of bits that were uh, some added bonuses. And this box we've got the Tarask, the Goblin Hut and Thos, the Young Dragon. So just to give you an idea of what they look like assembled. Let's go in here because this Tarask is massive. So we've got the 
uh, dragon wings here. My god, this is the start of our Tarasque. Uh, this is our goblin hut. A bit more of the Tarasque. The size of those horns. Oh. More Tarasque. Even more Tarasque. <laughs> Uh, looks like the rest of our dragon there and the last bit for our Tarasque as well. So that is going to be one hefty, hefty model when that is put together. I believe on the back of this it actually gives you the measurements for that as well. So let's have a quick gander at that. The uh, Tarasque sits at... Uh, nearly 40 centimetres across and just shy of 19 centimetres tall. That is massive. Oh, and that's going to be awesome to see on the uh, battle maps as well. So that is everything in the large boxes. So we are now just left with the three little gifts that you got for uh, back in it anyway on whatever level. And this sample pack for their upcoming Kickstarter, which I've seen a bit of. It does look amazing. Uh, jury's out on that one yet. We have to see what their uh, pledge levels are like. But uh, it's certainly tempting just how gorgeous uh, all of this stuff is. So let's look at the Leshy. So here we go, just simple enough on its own little sprue here. Awesome stuff. And then we'll finish off with that bonus pack. Uh, nice little welcome surprise. Cool, so this one's giving us uh, Rasher's Golem, Elder Krill and Tua. little sample pack here oh cool so it's giving us a little bit of a um, flavour about these characters as well as the upcoming campaign as well sweet that is a lot of pieces there. Again, these are going to look amazing once they are put together. I think our first job will be uh, to set up a factory line and just get all this stuff put together first so that it is available to use and play, and then we can concentrate on the uh, painting of it afterwards. So, fantastic stuff. That is everything. Just to give you a bit of a shot of the amount of stuff that's there let's just go down so there's a lot of boxes a lot of stuff and it'll be interesting to see all of this being used across the various rpg groups in the boardroom so uh thank you for watching guys uh we'll hopefully get this stuff set up as soon as possible and we'll see you at some point over the weekend. Thank you guys.